Hello, so we are back, and this time with a customer job. You know what laptop is this? Yeah, obviously it's a gaming laptop. That's my luck, I'm getting only gaming laptops. So this is a nice one. This actually, I believe it's a custom laptop. Uh, the customer bought it from a PC specialist. Is their Optimus line. And the laptop itself is saying Clevo with the model number N150RD. Okay, so we have to fix this laptop. This one is dead. But also the customer sent me a next one. Yeah, another one without uh, uh, without the screen. So we do have spares here. We can, uh, hopefully we can easily fix this laptop. Okay, so let's open this one. And see what we have inside. And the back cover, it's out. Wow, this is a nice laptop. It's nice, right? It is a custom one. You have one fan for GPU, one for CPU, separate. Okay, let's check first see if the main power is shorted. That would be sad. So the main power rail, look, you have here a bunch of MOSFETs. Not sure if you can see. Yeah. So the main power rail is to no one ohm. One ohm power rail. One ohm. Okay, that's sad. You know that emote with sad Pepe? With the frog. The sad frog. Yeah. I want to express, uh, you know, on the same way regarding this laptop. So, we have a dead board here probably. A dead CPU or a dead GPU. I'm curious. The other board, it will be the same, like shorted. Can we check what's the issue? Yeah, we can, but first let's remove the heat sinks. I mean, let's try to spot the fault before we are coming with the power supply. Yeah, let's see if we can. It's one ohm. You know what one, one ohm means? So here we have the GPU, yeah? This must be the VRAM power supply, no? Or not? And those are together, probably from GPU, and this one is from VRAM. And they are to, no, nah, okay. I take my words back. I don't think I can figure it out without the power supply. That's what you're trying to tell me? This can be a capacitor? Probably this is the original thermal base, right? Yeah, looks like. Okay, let me grab the thermal camera. Hard to believe to be a capacitor, because when you come with like 20 volts and uh, 10 amps, any capacitor, it will explode. But let's see, let's switch to like 0 0.9, yeah, that's fine ground and let's see the plus this is not short and this is not short oh it is sorry it's not so this is ground okay that's a weird ground i never seen a ground like that probably is no ground okay let's try again so here we have 0 0.03 volts, and here we have 0 0.09. Okay, so this is the plus. Let's see what is getting hot. You can bet now, yeah? Bet now, CPU or GPU.
Uh, check there the CPU. Check that one corner. Check that one corner of the CPU. I can't believe one corner. <sighs> okay, I will show you a trick which uh, someone on the chat told me. Yes, yeah, someone on the chat told me and uh, I said, you know what, that's smart. That's quite smart. So basically what the guy said on the chat, sorry, you just come with the, yeah, with the current like usual. And short, the output of the MOSFET to ground, so you will see the MOSFET which is getting hot. So it's safe for CPU, and also you can see the MOSFET. But I'm not sure how, how, how can we try here, how exactly we can try that here. Because I have to keep the power supply and I have to keep the thermal camera. So it's kind of tricky. But maybe I can spot a MOSFET. Yeah, I can spot the MOSFET. It's exactly this one. Okay, so uh, not sure what we can do in this case. We can remove the, the MOSFET. But, you know, that's a dead CPU getting hot in one corner. So this MOSFET is gone. Shortened. So we remove the MOSFET. What happened with our main power rail? Still shorted? Let's see. No, it's not short. You can see? No short. The short is gone. Now the question is, this board, it probably it will come on, but I will not expect picture on this board. 3 ohms, no, no, sorry, so the CPU has 0 0.08 ohms, no way this it will work, no way, this is a dead CPU, this is dead dead, We don't need the GPU. Let's let me grab the charger. Actually, I don't need the charger. I need the power supply. Where is the power button? The power button is on the middle of the board. So you have minus. Let's switch 20 volts. Yeah, a lot of amps. Okay, so we have plus. It's taking 10 milliamps, which is good, yeah? It's good, 10 milliamps is fine. Where is the button? And the laptop is coming on, 160 milliamps. And that's all. 160 milliamps. 160 milliamps is actually a bad one. Switch it off. Switch it on again. Hmm. Probably because of my charger. Let me grab the original charger. Okay, so we do have the original charger. Let's plug the charger. Good. Now let's press the power button. And same story. What can I do? What can I do? We have the power. We have the power there. You can see the the light. We have the power here on the corner. Like the laptop is on. But nothing really. Yeah, we have a dead CPU. What do you expect? We have a dead CPU. The fans are spinning, that's good. Mm. 
the fans are spinning. Let me check. The V core. V core is zero. <laughs> GPU nothing, V-Core probably nothing, on the chipset we have 1 volt, 1 volt, 1 volt, 1, 1, 3 3.2, 3.3 volts, so the chipset is fine, but the CPU is dead. Okay, so it's nothing what we can do with this one. Let me get the other board and let's check the other board to see why that board died. Maybe we have a better lock. So this is the other, uh, the other board. Maybe this is different. It's not, it's the same, right? Yeah, it looks the same. Okay, let's see this watch. Let's check the main power rail. Let's check the main power rail. Let's see. Check that. <laughs> 0 0.04 ohms. I mean, how unlucky, how unlucky you can be. To have two laptops the same and both the laptops to have shorted MOSFETs. Can you bet? Can you bet? Which one it is, the GPU or the CPU? Let's see. You know, I can bet, I can bet it's the CPU because uh, looks like it's, you know, look, looks like a common fold. I mean, both boards. Let's see. Okay, we have the thermal camera is still on. Let's come with the power, uh, the power supply. Let's lower the voltage to 0 0.9. That's fine. Few amps there. Let's see. So here we have plus and minus. So here we have 0 0.03 and here we have 0 0.07. That's good. Check there the CPU. I mean, I swear, even the, the heat signature, you see it's on that side. It looks like the same with the other one. I'm curious, which, which MOSFET it is? Is the same? No way. No way. No way. I mean, exactly the same MOSFET shorted. Let's take out the MOSFET. <laughs> Lol. I mean, clearly this has to be, be some manufacturer, uh, uh, you know, manufacturer problem, design issue. I mean, this, this, this is a big coincidence. I mean, it's a big one. Big coincidence. So we took out the MOSFET. Let's check for short. Do we still have short? So the beeping one? No short. <laughs> This is unbelievable. I mean, what are the odds to have two boards with exactly the same two MOSFETs shorted and the CPU is getting shorted on the same way. You see the heat signature is somewhere here. This is crazy. I mean, what can I tell to this customer? <laughs> I would say, you know, buy another brand next time. Huh? 
I mean, check here, yeah. So basically, every cap, every every MOSFET on the output. Wait, on the output they have coils, okay? They have coils. But this one, this MOSFET, has a special capacitor on the output. Huh. This is crazy. At the, at the CPU, let me check the CPU resistance. And the CPU has... This has like 1.2 ohms. Yeah, it's a little bit better compared with the other board. What a waste. What a waste. <laughs> you know, actually, actually, my repair rate is so low because of the, those gaming laptops. Uh, I mean, you know, the problem is because of the charger. You have like 10 amps charger, like minimal 10 amps. When you have a shorted MOSFET and you have like 200 watts is going to your CPU, <laughs> it's, it's dying instantly. But it's just, you know, it's just a strange coincidence. Why is not different MOSFET? Why is this one? You know? Why is not from the GPU? Or why maybe this one or this one or this one? No, exactly this one. I think it's just a poor design. So what I'm thinking, the only way why that MOSFET it will die is because it's more stressed. So how can a MOSFET can be stressed? By the heat in the first place, yeah, by the heat. But from what I can see, all MOSFETs are here, so it's fine. Can be if, uh, but no, actually it's better because the charging port is actually, uh, is radiating some heat, no. If it's not because of the heat, because those MOSFETs are together, yeah, so don't get me wrong, are on parallel mode, yeah, all those power supplies. If it's not because of the heat, it's because of the current, yeah, so probably the main power rail of the CPU is closer to this coil, so in that case, uh, the MOSFET, it will work harder. Let me check, so those are together. 1.9, 1 1.9, 1 3.5. Wait, and why why here it's 1.9? So this one is 0 0.3. Here is 2 ohms. So those two are together. Oh yeah, I, I figured it out. So those two are together, and those two are together, yeah? So in that case, yeah. In that case, yeah, you can see. So check here. I mean, I can see from here that, you know, it's a design fault. This MOSFET is closer to the CPU compared with this one. And believe me, believe me, few millimeters of track matter, yeah, matter. So because this MOSFET is closer, it will uh, take more current compared from this MOSFET, the number four MOSFET. Yeah, the number four one. Anyway, that can be the only explanation. Okay, so I'll stop now. I'm really sorry for this customer, but I can't help him. I will say thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you don't have this kind of luck. And see you on the next one. Bye.